manager on behalf of the district. Evans Engineering was actually a design engineer. Um, this project is at the South Forge, Forge Road Elementary School. Uh, it does hit on uh, the Safe Pathways to School uh, specifically as part of this program. Uh, South Forge Road is a multimodal access facility in the sense that they do provide bus services in Palmyra, um, but there are a lot of students who are actually walking to school as well as riding their bike. Uh, currently, this site is constrained um, from a traffic flow standpoint. Uh, it is a building that was constructed in 1959, I believe, uh, and as part of this project running parallel is a renovation to the existing building, to the existing facility. Um, the location is preferable. Uh, a couple of details about the project, I will tell you on the handout, um, the estimate is included. We've estimated the total project cost at $1.2 million. We've applied for about, I believe, $742,000-ish um, from this program. That would be about a $500,000 match uh, from the school district that they would issue from uh, public bond finance. Um, uh, that to show our kind of commitment to the project, to the county, to demonstrate that commitment. Uh, some of the highlights of this project definitely include the stormwater considerations. Uh, we all know that the Palmyra area borough definitely, or Palmyra, Palmyra borough definitely has um, some stormwater issues going on. As, you know, as far as the sinkholes are concerned. So one of the things that we did here um, is we are proposing to use pervious pavement, uh, and this was actually designed and considered in the scope during the uh, hurricane storms that we saw affect, um, you know, Texas and Florida this summer uh, and in fall. Uh, so we are are looking to use pervious pavement and then use that as an opportunity to educate students. Um, about you know green solutions, stormwater, um, stormwater education. Uh, also, as far as, as this project is concerned, it does include crosswalks um, from South Duke, Duke Street that currently don't exist, uh, as well as a sidewalk um, that will run parallel to to the to the access road, as well as um, a new uh, parent-teacher drop-off to alleviate congestion on the site. This site is also utilized and is a shared agreement between uh, the Palmyra Area Borough uh, Parks and Rec Foundation the Civic Baseball Club and the school district. So you've got a number of community groups and organizations that use this site um, and they will be able obviously to, to utilize the additional parking spaces as well as the roadway to access the site. Um, the superintendent is with us today. I think she can talk a little bit about the project benefits more specifically to the, to the school, but. All right, thank you. And again, just thank you for the opportunity to uh, have you consider this project. Uh, and I also recognize that there are some other projects here that obviously have some benefit to our district as well. So I appreciate that. Um, Palmyra has just sustained such growth over the last um, 12, 15 years, uh, about 15% growth. And we're attempting to keep up with that growth, which is putting a, a real strain on the entire community. Um, we are probably one of the very few um, districts around that has had to actually build an additional elementary school. So our taxpayers have, have had to endure a, a whole new building. Uh, they've also had to endure uh, additions to our middle school, et cetera. Um, we know that we don't want to forego some of the safety types of issues, though, and this is obviously a prime example of that. Our Forge Road building was obviously designed when uh, most of our students were walkers. So we only needed to deal more with walking um, pathways to that building. Now, most of our development, that increase in the development, hasn't obviously been in the borough. It's been in South Londonderry and North Londonderry townships, which are causing us to bus kids from those areas into the Forge Road Elementary. So now we have the influx of busing, um, parents that are concerned about the heavy traffic that we see along Ford, Forge Road, that state road is very, very heavily traveled. And uh, so therefore they're not letting their children walk as much uh, along that road. And there are no other access ways into that building. That building is surrounded on three sides by uh, ball fields, houses, et cetera. So therefore there's really only one entrance way um, coming into that building. Um, I have sustained numerous uh, parental complaints. I've sustained numerous near misses. Uh, we feel like we have done everything we can do at this point with cones and signage and additional personnel and, and procedures. We actually need to attack something that is um, much more prominent with that entirely um, new access way into that, uh, into that area. Garrett already alluded, we, this is not just a building that we utilize for arrival and dismissal of the you know, 400 kids that are there. This is a, a community hub as well. Um, the intergovernmental agreement, as Garrett alluded to with our rec, this becomes our hub for the summer program. We house about 200 kids there every day in the summer um, as well for a summer program. Um, we have our school-age childcare 
program that we coordinate with the YMCA, that all students from other buildings are brought to this building for, for that. And you can see with the prominent three uh, baseball fields, um, we have 400 kids playing civic baseball. Um, on those fields on a regular basis. So we feel like we're having impact not only to benefit the safety of the school, but the safety of the entire community that uses this as a, as a, as a hub. Um, I, again, when put to task, uh, I've had PDE actually come out and look at this area because I've had parental complaints um, with regard to some special ed uh, students in this area. When put to task, we have not been able to come up with any other solution using this little area here that we have, trying to merge cars, buses, and walkers all in a small area. Um, so therefore, you know, we're looking for uh, that. Our board has been very, very diligent, and the community of Palmyra has been very diligent, keeping our cost per pupil very, very low, uh, and sustaining all of this type of growth that they've had to deal with. So. We're, we're looking for assistance um, in any type of uh, financial way that would help us um, you know, bring a project such as this to actually fruition. Um, it would greatly ease my concerns uh, when I'm standing out there and I've st stood there many times at arrival and dismissal uh, trying to just brainstorm how else can we make this a, um, a more safe environment for our students. So I'll entertain any questions. Questions, anyone? Got some powerful presentations. I see why you had trouble, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do